Hey everyone, welcome back to Financial Future. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been causing quite a stir, a $200 monthly raise to Social Security Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivor, Spousal, and SSI benefits. Is it really starting in August? That's a great question and exactly what I want to clarify for you in this video. So, let's get into it and talk through all the details. Alright, the infamous $200 per month raise that we've been hearing about for years and years. This proposal was originally introduced way back in March of 2020 when a small group of lawmakers suggested implementing a $200 per month raise for fixed income beneficiaries until the end of that year. Well, guess what? It never happened. The proposal faded away for about a year and a half, only to resurface more recently. Most famously, it was included in the Social Security Expansion Act introduced by Bernie Sanders and his colleagues in the Senate. So, where are we right now? This is a question I get literally all the time, so let's break it down. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty, can I ask a huge favor? If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and hit that subscribe button right below the video. Join Financial Future. I truly appreciate your support. Thank you so much. I have thousands of videos on this channel and I'm here for you every single day, right by your side, watching the headlines, doing the research, advocating on your behalf, and answering your questions. Alright, let's get into the details about this $200 per month raise. There are a handful of questions I get every day, every week. One of the most common ones is about the $200 per month raise. Some people are out there saying, get ready, checks are going to be deposited, and we're getting a huge raise coming up in a couple of days. So, let's talk about what's actually going on here. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I'm committed to bringing you honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information every single day. Even if it's not the news you want to hear, I'm here to give it to you straight. So, to answer the big question, is a $200 per month raise starting in August? No, it is not. There is no $200 per month raise starting in August. This proposal has not been approved yet. Here's the thing, yes, the proposal is still technically out there as part of the Social Security Expansion Act, and maybe it's floating around in other discussions but it has not been passed. No standalone bill has been approved to implement this raise. Now, could the Social Security Expansion Act still pass this year? Absolutely, it could. But as of right now, nothing has been finalized. So, if you've seen claims that a $200 raise is coming in August, they are simply not true. This time of year is critical for another reason. We're currently in the months July, August, and September that are used to determine the annual cost of living adjustment, COLA, for Social Security benefits. The COLA will impact your benefits starting in January of next year, but it won't result in a $200 per month raise by August. So, while prices and inflation are being tracked right now to calculate the COLA, that doesn't mean a $200 raise is coming next month. I want to make this very clear, no $200 per month raise is coming in August. If this video upsets you or disappoints you, I apologize. But I need to bring you the truth. I'm here to give you honest information, not false hope. If any significant changes happen, I'll be the first to let you know. I monitor all the news, legislation, and updates that affect your benefits. So, if something does change, you'll hear it from me right away. Share this video with your friends on social media, and check out the other videos here on Financial Future. Next we're diving into some major predictions about the stock market. Analysts are suggesting a potential 30% drop in stocks, specifically the S&P 500, which could happen before the end of 2024 or early 2025. But wait! There's another side to this story suggesting a massive rally in stocks during the same time frame. So, which one will it be? 
Let's explore both possibilities and see which one has the highest probability based on our current market situation. Now, let's get into it. So, a 30% drop in the stock market. What would that mean for us? Well, let's break it down. The predictions for this drop are based on several factors, one of the biggest being a significant rise in unemployment and a contraction in job openings. Recently, we've seen the lowest number of job openings in over three years. Employers are pulling back, suggesting they foresee an economic downturn. If this trend continues, we could see higher unemployment rates, which some analysts predict could rise to 6%, 7%, or even double digits by the end of the year. Double-digit unemployment would be devastating for the economy and would likely trigger a significant drop in the stock market. Now, a 30% drop might sound extreme, but remember what happened in early 2020. The market dropped around 30-40% in just a few weeks. So, it's not out of the realm of possibility. For long-term investors, a significant drop can be an opportunity to buy stocks at a lower price. But what about the other side of the coin? Some analysts are predicting a massive rally, with the S&P 500 possibly reaching 5,700 by the end of the year. That's a substantial increase from where we are now and would signal strong investor confidence and economic resilience. So, which scenario is more likely? The truth is, no one can predict the market with 100% accuracy. Both outcomes have credible arguments. The pessimistic view hinges on worsening economic indicators, while the optimistic view relies on continued market momentum and positive economic data. One thing to keep in mind is that corrections and crashes are a normal part of market cycles. They're not necessarily bad, they can actually be healthy, allowing the market to recalibrate and present new buying opportunities for investors. So, what should you do? Stay informed, stay diversified, and don't make impulsive decisions based on short term market movements. Remember, this is not investment advice. I'm just sharing insights based on recent data and articles I've been reading. Time will tell which prediction comes true. We've seen numerous analysts over the past six months predicting a volatile second half of 2024. If it's going to happen, let's get it over with so we can move forward and find new opportunities. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and hit the like button. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these predictions. Check out other videos on the channel, and I'll see you again soon here on Financial Future.